My name's Ian Berry. Um, I'm a photojournalist. Um, I've been around for the last hundred years. I joined Magnum a long time ago, and I've uh, been stuck there ever since. God knows how long ago I shot a, an exhibition in the Whitechapel Art Gallery, and there's a kind of a small section of that exhibition on show at the moment. The then curator of the gallery, it was her idea to, to have someone photograph the area to maybe attract local people into the gallery who, if they came once to look at a photographic exhibition, might come back to look at other things. I came and spent, you know, a couple of weeks, I guess, uh, photographing the area. And things have changed. You know, I was able to go into a school then and photograph the kids, which you can't do now. I went into the London Hospital and I was able to wander around the corridors and, and shoot in the hospital. A photography magazine asked me to come back and shoot for a couple of days here. So I spent a couple of days walking around and, and things have changed dramatically. It's becoming much more difficult for a photographer now to shoot on the street, to get into places, and besides which I like to shoot in sunnier places these days, and so um, I tend to work in Southeast Asia and Africa much more. I hardly work in England at all now. I didn't want to get involved in my father's business. I wanted to emigrate, and in those days the choices were Australia, New Zealand, Canada, or South Africa, and I thought we could see the lions on the streets in Johannesburg. One of the first things I did in South Africa was um, shooting at Sharpeville. The police for the first time opened fire on a crowd, killing 76 people and wounding over 100 others. And uh, for various reasons I was the only photographer there. The police charged the wounded with uh, a riot and a fray afterwards. And the defence was able to produce my photographs showing that in fact the police had shot, most of the people were shot in the back as they were running away. You tend to hide behind the camera. You know, you think if you've got a camera to your eye that nothing can happen to you. I've actually stood in the Congo and photographed a guy sort of 10 feet away who was shooting at me. And uh, happily for me, he was drunk and a lousy shot. Mm -hmm. 